What's good people, it's Tyler West and this is the latest MTV News. Spent the weekend watching to all the boys I've loved before for the 47th time? Then here's a much needed update on Noah Centineo's relationship status, the intense truth behind his face scar, and even an in-depth description of what it's like to make out with him. In case you missed it, the entire internet fell in love with Noah and co-star Lana Condor in their on-screen relationship in the Netflix adaptation of Jenny Hands to all the boys I've loved before. For those Peter and Lara Jean shippers wishing that on-screen would translate to real life, I'm sorry to disappoint, it's just not happening. In a recent interview with E! News, Noah affectionately called Lana just his homegirl and said she's in a relationship and super happy. He's an amazing guy and she's like so over the moon about it. I think we look at each other more like brother and sister. As cute as it looks on screen and captioning melting hearts on the gram, I think the friend zone is as far as it's gonna go. Still, by your third watch of the film, you might have noticed the mysterious scar on Noah's face. And he's been opening up about how he got it. While I would have guessed it was something like single-handedly saving an old lady and her cat from a fire on a sinking ship, the truth is actually a whole lot scarier. As Noah's revealed, he was attacked by a mastiff. Pretty scary stuff, and while Noah's fine now, here's something to cheer us all up. Because I know you are all still sitting there wondering what it's like to kiss the man. Well, thanks to Shannon Purser, or should I say Barb, who co-stars with Noah in upcoming Netflix movie Sierra Burgess is a Loser, we now know. She tells Entertainment Tonight it was my first on-screen kiss. Not my first real kiss, thankfully, but yeah, that was horrifying. There you have it, folks. Snogging Peter Kavinsky is horrifying. To be fair, we think she was referencing to how nerve-wracking it was, so what it felt like, you'll have to keep imagining for now. BTS are the first K-pop band to break into the UK Top 40. I know what you're thinking right now. What is a BTS? Who is K-pop? And why is Tyler so cool? Well, let me break it down. BTS, aka Bangtang Song Yeondan, are a South Korean boy band and you'd have to be on Mars to have missed that the world are going crazy about them. In case you missed it, K-pop is Korean pop, which is the genre I'm pretty sure taking over most crazy nights out in the UK. And why am I so cool? Well, the aircon's on in here at the moment. And now the boy band's new single, Idol, has not only entered the UK charts, but debuted at number 21, claiming the highest new entry title and also beating their previous record of number 42. This comes in just after they broke a massive YouTube milestone, dethroning Taylor Swift for the most streamed music video debut like ever. It's fair to say everyone's catching feelings for the K-pop band, and while they're on this record-breaking shopping spree, we wonder what's next to add to their receipt of achievements. Fashion and travel influencer Scarlett London's latest Instagram post has sent the social network into meltdown. The blogger has been slammed, labelled fake and a lie, as well as being sent death threats. All for posting this photo captioned, the best of days start with a smile and positive thoughts, and pancakes and strawberries and bottomless tea. Except in this case, it was tortilla wraps with a side of mouthwash. The photo, a sponsored post for Listerine, is causing such controversy because fans aren't quite believing that anyone starts their day this way. Yes, calling out the photo with jokes pointing out that the pancake stack looks like tortillas were funny at first but now it's taken a darker turn. And while Scarlett's initial point behind the obviously sponsored post was trying to suggest starting the day in a more positive way, her 45,000 followers only saw the tortilla wraps and the trolling and hateful comments began to flow. Defending herself and reminding people how cruel the internet mob mentality can be, Scarlett responded saying, in the last 48 hours grown men and women, MPs, women's equality representatives, journalists, actresses and broadcasters have discovered my Instagram feed and decided to pick it apart online in front of thousands. I implore those mindlessly sharing this content to research who I am as a person before they further drag my name and image through the mud. I am and will be okay after this hideous experience, but another young girl or guy as the subject of this targeted hate campaign might not be okay. Scarlett had to remind them there's a real person behind the images, something which I think we all need to take note of in today's social media obsessed world. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. It's other the people's lives it affects. Did you believe your own story? Yeah, yeah. I did. That's quite worrying, I know. Though, Roxanne. I know. Emma Willis has slayed her interview with Roxanne Pallet. Is it now time to leave her alone? Hear me out before you come for us. First up, Emma's interview is amazing. Girls having none of Roxanne's tears. The pair sat down to chat about the punching incident that took place between her and ex Cory star Ryan Thomas, with Emma asking all the questions. How can you get something so wrong in your head? Did you ever consider the implications mm that it would have on him. Can you imagine 
if those cameras hadn't been there. Now Roxanne explained that watching it back, watching something didn't change the way that she felt it and that she couldn't prove a feeling but apologised for getting it so wrong and said, I need to go away and work out why I'm that sensitive that I manufactured a different thing in my mind. But Roxanne's apology isn't sitting well with some people. Now after the incident, a bunch of her former Emmerdale co-stars called her out on Twitter. If this is on social media, just imagine the Woolpack WhatsApp group. Roxanne says she hasn't read any of the tweets. It's devastating. No one wants to hear that, not from anyone, let alone people you've worked with. There are even tweets from people that went to school with the star. 24 years ago, I was bullied at school and left because it was so bad. Today, the entire nation sees my school bullies true colors. I think the major concern here is Roxanne's ability to play the victim for attention. It totally undermines the plight of thousands of women across the world who are actually facing domestic abuse. It illegitimizes their story and we should always speak up when we feel something or someone has wronged us. But after Emma nailed her interview with the CBB star, is it now time to leave her alone? She's the self-titled most hated woman in Britain. Her Wikipedia page was edited by trolls and just one search of her name brings up threats of violence which is never okay. Maybe Roxanne needs some help now, not a witch hunt. We're not defending what she's done but are the public becoming too involved in something that's already too sensitive? One user tweeted this Roxanne Pallet thing is in danger of doing a 360 and making her start to like look the victim. So the question I'll leave you with is are we now bullying the bullier? Let us know what you think in the comments below.